Hey, this tutorial is all about how to making make uh, how, how to make a fancy border like this or fancy frame if you take a look at this image here actually it's very simple to do uh, I made a an object which is shaped like this and then the photograph I just put it into this object using power clip uh, let's dissect this this graphics first so if you click on the graphics Right. and you go to effects power click because it's power clip I'm just going to extract the contents okay so this is the content and this is my my object so what I did I made a power clip out of it so I'm just going to show you how here put it in here since I can't see it it's behind the image so I go to arrange order to front of page and then what I did I choose the photograph right choose the photograph or from digital camera go to effects power clip place inside of the container and I click this is my container okay so that's not the problem I'll just undo here click on undo this button okay so I'm going to delete this one because our main object is how do I do this how do I create this frame so I'll delete that now that frame was a uh, Corel photo paint uh, image so everybody has that frame okay so but we have to change it we're gonna trace it first so if you go to import this icon here is for import or you can always go always go to file import okay and you go to import and I'm sure you have it in there if you're in the PC you click on C your C drive and then click on program guide a uh, program files so in program files you go to Corel folder double click and then go to Corel Graphics Suite 13 double click on that and I want you to go to custom data custom data folder and then go to frames so when you click on frames and see if you if you go to thumbnails or actually you don't need to go to thumbnails you can see those are the frames and if you click here make sure you click on the preview so you can see how it looks like Okay, so those are the frames that you can use. Okay, actually, what I used was square one. Okay, I'm gonna use that one, and then you import. It's a Corel Photo Paint file, which is an image. So you click import. Okay, so that's my frame. Now we're not done yet because we can't power clip this one into this because both are images. We have to make this a vector image. We have to trace it. So in your properties here when it's once you click on this one there's an option for trace bitmap so you click on trace bitmap you click first and then go to quick trace so what it does now it vectorize the image in photo the photo paint image okay now if I go to wireframe view I go to wireframe you would see that it is an odd it is vectorized now it is vectorized so what I'm going to do going going back to my view enhanced view okay and I'm going to click on this one and move it away from the image so this was the image the photo paint image and this is the traced image now how would you know which is the traced and which is the photo paint image if you go to view and click on wireframe you would see this is an image same as this one right so we don't you know, don't want that to so just delete that and we'll work on this, this graphics here I'll go to view and go to enhanced now once it's traced it's going to be grouped together so once you click on this object here you're going to see in this property here for ungroup all okay I want you to click ungroup all okay now click outside now what you're going to do is in the center of that frame click on it and move it over to the picture that's the frame that I need I don't want this one because these are objects so you see those are the gray stuff and the black stuff so I can delete this now delete now I'm gonna color this temporarily so what I'm gonna do now it's so simple I'm going to position it where my frame would go okay. now when I'm happy with that I click on my 
image or my my JPEG file and I go to effects go to power clip and then click place inside the container which container this container here. click and there you go it's so simple now then you can make it fancy by go by making drop shadow or by say you want to change the outline of the of the the color of the outline so I'll make the outline pan say two and I'll make it say red and click OK see the outline changed or I can also put drop shadow by clicking on this icon here and then choosing interactive drop shadow and I'll just click and drag it down say that one there and I can adjust the drop shadow there you go so simple but if you don't like the drop shadow or the outline you can always go here click X for the outline so no outline if you want to remove the drop shadow you click on arrange break drop shadow group apart and then just delete the drop shadow there you go now I prepared some of the effects some of the borders that was traced so all of these were traced in same same thing same thing when I go to import and all of these are those frames you can choose whatever you want you want and then import it and trace it so same same method so these are interesting frames like this one let's look at this one here this one has drop shadow this one's a different frame this is a different frame so there you go so that's the tutorial for today nice and simple